Hello guys, my name is Chooks. If you're preparing for the NMPC aptitude test, this video is just for you. So I want you to watch this video to the end and maybe you have some questions I didn't cover in the video, put it down in the comment section. In the next video or in the subsequent video, I'm gonna include all the questions I see in the comment section in the next video. So having said that, let us go into this question right now. All right, so here we go. This is question one. It says, identify the missing number at the end of the series. Again, this is not a series. This is a sequence. I think this is one error I see here is a sequence. A series is a sum of sequence, okay? But this is a series because each of the term is separated by comma. So this is a sequence and not a series. So now we have five comma, 12 comma, 19 comma, 26. We want to get the next number. So looking at this number, the number is increasing, right? And uh, if you look at it very well, from 5 to 12, just like an increase of 7. And from 12 to 19 is an increase of 7 again. From 19 to 26 is an increase of 7. So it's just a um, linear increase of 7. So the next number will just be 26 plus 7. And that will give us how much? Of course, 33. So the next number will be 33. So that is pretty much how it is. I hope this one is clear. All right, so if this is clear, let's go to the next question. So the next question here, it says a rectangle is twice as long as its width, as it is wide. Okay, let's take it down for a moment. A rectangle is twice as long as it is wide. So remember, this is just a word problem. We just try to figure out what this um, word problem is all about. A rectangle has a length and the width. Let me quickly draw a rectangle here so that we can kind of see what I'm saying clearly. So this is a rectangle, and this is the length, and this is the width. The length is just how long the shape is, and the width is how wide it is. So now they're telling us this rectangle is twice as long as it is wide. So if it is wide by two centimeter, it will be double to get the length. If it is five centimeter wide, then it will be double, which will be 10 centimeter to get the, the length. So that is what this thing is saying here. So now it says the width is four. It says if the width is four. So if the width, the width that means W is equal to A. Sorry, if the width is A, so the W, which is the width, is equal to A. Then the length will be what? It will be double of it, which is like times two of it. So the length is going to be 2A, all right? So that means we have here to be 2A and we have here to be just A. And now the axis will find the diagonal. The diagonal is this straight line this line that cuts from one vertex to the other vertex. So this diagonal is just like saying to find the hypotenuse because now this diagonal divides the rectangle into triangles. And you know this, this angle here is a, is a 90 degrees. So this is a right angle triangle. So bringing down the information we have, this is still the same as 2A and this is, this is the same as A. So right now we have a rectangle triangle with um, A here and 2A here, and this is the right angle. We want to find this diagonal, which is D. Let's call it D. Using the Pythagoras theorem, uh, it will be hypotenuse squared is equal to the, the, the side squared, maybe um, the leg squared plus the square of the other guy. So I know you call this opposite and adjacent. Um, standard, we call it legs, okay? The legs of the triangle. So the hypotenuse here is D, so we have D squared, and the legs, you can take any of this leg. This is A squared and the other guy is 2A. But you, have, you want to put them in the bracket because they are more than one. So A squared is just A squared. Then 2A squared is like this, 2A times 2A. And that will give me 4A squared, right? Of course, now we have, this is like 1A squared and this is 4A squared. So 1A squared plus 4A squared, that of course is just 5 a squared. And remember, this is D squared is equal to this quantity. So bring it up right to this side. So D would be the square root of 5A squared, right? And you know, um, this old guy can be written as the square root of 5 times the square root of A squared, right? So the, the, the square cancel out in this case. So we're going to have um, A root 5. So that's what we're going to have. Because the square for A, we cancel out the root. And that is option C. So let's quickly move to the next question. Yeah, we have question three. Say a lacrosse team. I don't know what lacrosse is, but let's just assume we know it. A lacrosse team raised some money. 
the members use 74% of the money to buy uniform. So they use 74% to buy uniform, okay? And uh, what else? They use 18% for equipment. So they use 80% to get some equipment. And it says, and the remaining is $216 for it. And the remaining $216 for a team party. How much did they, did they raise? Now, we didn't know, they, we didn't get any information that tells us how much they raised. So we're going to say, let the amount they raised be Y. So let's say the amount they raised is Y, okay? And now they used 74% for, for uniform and 80% for equipment. So altogether, that will be, so yeah, that will be um, 92%. So they use 92% to obtain uniform and equipment. So we're going to remove that's 92% from this quantity, right? So the money they the money they raised, remember the money they raised is Y. This is the money they raised. Think of it like that. This is the amount they raised. So, and now they used 74% for uniform. So they used 74% of the money for uniform and 80% of the money for uniform. So altogether they used 92% of the money for uniform, right? For uniform and equipment. So that would be like, we know we, we raised Y dollars, then minus 92% uh, of Y, isn't it? That's the use 92% of the money for uniform and equipment. So this is, you know, you're kind of taking away what they use for uniform and what they use for equipment from the total amount they raised, which is Y. And they said now, and the remainder is 216. That means when you remove all this 92% um, from Y, the remainder is what? $216. I hope this is clear. Kind of say it again. They use 74% um, for uniform, 80% for equipment. So altogether is 92% they use for both uniform and equipment. So they use, that's 92% of the money. If you remove it from the money they raise, you cannot have the remainder, which is $216. And that's what they use for a team party. But that will help us form an equation, okay? So this is all together. It's going to be like Y minus 92% is like 92 over 100, which is the same as 0 0.92 Y, okay? Equal to 216. And uh, remember, we're looking for Y, which is the money they raise, right? So if this is like 1Y minus 0 0.92. And that's going to give me like um, 0 0.08. Y, isn't it? Equal to 216. And I'm going to divide everybody by 0 0.0, um, 0 0.08, divided by 0 0.08. This guy cancel out this guy. So definitely Y should be equal to, where's my calculator? I have calculator right here. Where is calculator? So yeah, I have it. So it's going to be like 216 divided by 0 0.08. And that's 2,700, that's 2,700. So the money they raised was $2,700, $2,700. So now that is done. Let's move to the next question, which is question four. It says, if the length of a rectangle, if the length of a rectangle is four times. So whenever I hear something like that, I want to put down the shape. That's the first you want to do. So this is not a perfect rectangle. Please help me with that. So if the, if the length of, this is the length and this is the width. Now they say if the length of a rectangle is four times its width. So let's stop there for a while. So if the width is, uh, let's say the width is um, um, Y, then the, the length will be what? Four times the width, which is four times Y, and that is four Y, isn't it? So now let's assume the width is Y, then the length is gonna be like four Y, all right? Okay, so um, now this place is going to be 4y and here will be y because that's the property of a rectangle. So moving forward, it says, and its area is 144. What is the perimeter? Perimeter is just summing the outlines, right? Perimeter is just like, the perimeter is just like summing uh, y plus y, then plus 4y plus 4y. That's what perimeter is all about. And that would be y plus y is 2y plus 4y, that is 6y plus 4y, that is 10y. So the perimeter is actually 10y. But we don't know what is y. And what is y? Y is the width. We don't know what is the width. If we can know the value of y, we just can get the perimeter simple. So, but what will help us get the y is this next statement, which says, and its area is 144. That's what we're going to do. So what's the area of a rectangle? The area of a rectangle is equal to length times width, right? But now we have the area to be 144. So here's going to be like 144 
is equal to the length is 4y times the width is y. And that will give me 4y times 4y is the same as 4y squared. I hope you know that. And this is 144. And for me, I will divide everybody by 4, divide here by 4, this cancel out. So 144 divided by 4, 4 here is 1, 4 in um, 12, 4 in 12 is 3, remainder 2, 4, that's 36. So we just have, I'm taking this guy to this side. So we have 36 is equal to y squared, or you say y squared is equal to 36, right? And if you square both sides, so y is equal to just 6. So now we know the value of y. We just come right here and plug in the value of y, which is 6. And 10 times 6 is 60. So the perimeter is 60. Remember, perimeter is just the sum of the outline. So that's what I did earlier. Then I discovered that I need to, for me to get the perimeter, I need to get the value of y. That is why we have 60 to be the perimeter. All right? Is it the last question? Okay, I think no. Um, all right, this is the last question for today. But remember, if you still have some questions I didn't cover, put it down in the comment section. I'm going to attend to all those questions on the comment section. And this video is, if this video have added value to you, share it to those who are preparing to write the aptitude test. All right? So let's take the last question and we're out from here. It says, identify the missing number at the end of the series. Again, this is not a series. What is this? This is a sequence and not a series, please. Now we have 100, we have 96 and 91. What do you observe from this um, sequence? The number is kind of decreasing. From 100 to 96, that is just like minus 4, right? That is minus 4. So we have um, 100 to 96 is minus 4. Then from 96 to uh, 91 is minus 5. This is like minus 4. This is minus 5. And here is uh, minus 6. Then the next one will be like minus 7. So 85 minus 7, 85 minus seven will give us um, 78. So the answer is 78. So thank you very much for watching. Like you can see, the light just went off and that is fine. Thank you very much for watching. See you in the next video. Share this video to other learners and I'll meet you again. Bye for now and good luck.